Have you ever had a really good idea before for a movie or a TV show or some kind of animated project? You have, haven't you? Well, you're in luck because today in Matt's class, we are gonna go over the basics of how to write a screenplay. So if you've ever looked at a screenplay before, hopefully you've read one. If you want to write a screenplay, it would probably help to read one. I run into people all the time that want to write screenplays that have never read one. And it's also weird, people that want to write comic books or draw comic books, but they don't even read comic books. That's a little weird. You kind of, I know, right, James? You need to know your industry uh, if you want to get into that. So. Today I want to talk about just the basics, kind of the headspace that you need to get into. But before you even do that, you really want to at least read a screenplay, be somewhat familiar with what they look like. So hanging out with me today, James of course is behind the camera, Cam is hanging out with me today as well. And we are gonna talk about screenplay basics. The next video is gonna talk about format. And after that, I'm gonna talk about creativity in general. So one of the things you'll notice between a screenplay and say a novel is that whenever you're writing a novel like prose fiction, some kind of book or something like that, you really can have all of this detail and you can talk about all the different senses. And if you have a story where, let's say someone gets assassinated, in a book, it could be seven pages worth of someone breaking into someone's apartment, they're creeping through, their sweat is trickling down their temples as they're contemplating taking this person's life. But then if you read a screenplay, it's like person A walks into the apartment, pulls out a revolver, blam, exits the room. And like, that's it. So there's a lot to that. We're gonna talk about exactly what that is. With a book, you really are trying to do more than just tell a story. You're trying to move people with your command of the English language. You're trying to make a work of literature. That's all fine and dandy, but with a screenplay, really it's all about the plot, it's all about the dialogue, and I wanna tell you about the two things you can only write about when you're writing a screenplay. And if you can kind of keep this in the back of your mind, this is gonna help you out big time. So I want you to write these down. Number one, when you're writing a screenplay, you can only write about what you see happening on screen. So number one, you can only write about what you see happening on screen. Number two, you can only write about what you hear coming through the speakers. You can only write about what you hear coming through the speakers. Number three, there is no number three. That's it. So what's great about this, the way that you're writing a screenplay, you're basically putting yourself in the audience. You're sitting yourself down. What is the audience experiencing? And I love that because when I think of movie ideas or if there's an idea for a TV show or a video game, I'm always like kind of imagining what the experience is. That's really what it's all about. It's exactly how you're writing a screenplay. So there's a lot that you can write about with what you see and what you hear, but sometimes it's a little bit easier to talk about what you can't write about. So let's talk about those. You can't write about what people smell. So in other words, I couldn't write, Cam walked into Matt's house and it smelled like crap. <laughs> because how does the audience know that? Like we don't have smell-o-vision yet, so there's no way for the audience to know. What we could do, you could write, Cam walks into Matt's house and he kind of gasps for air, he covers his mouth and he goes, oh man, it smells like butt in here, right? Now that, that you could write, because then the audience knows, but you have to do it somehow through what we see on screen and what we hear coming through the speakers. You can't say, Matt took a bite of pizza, it was delicious. How does the audience know that? Now look, you can probably tell by my size, I'm definitely a pizza connoisseur, but I have pizza all the time, so you wanna see what it looks like when I eat a really delicious slice of pizza? I'm gonna show you right now.
because it's always good. Pizza's never bad, right? Even bad pizza is usually pretty good. So if you really want the audience to know that this pizza is just really delicious, you can't just say it's delicious. You have to somehow show through what you see and what you hear. So you could write down, this is me writing, typing the screenplay. You could say something like Matt bites into a slice of pizza and groans orgasmically. I don't know, maybe that's a poor choice of words, but you get the idea. Somehow you have to either show it or hear it. You also can't write about what people feel. So you can't just say, uh, Matt and Cam walked outside, it was freezing out. How does the audience know? I mean, maybe me and Cam, we've got really thick like bear skin, so maybe when we walk outside, it's freezing, but we might be like, all right, Let's go, right? And maybe it's no big deal. He's got his cardigan, right? So that, that works just fine. So if you want the audience to know, you might say something like, Matt and Cam walk outside, they duck under some icicles, they start shivering, and they say, man, it's f -f 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 freaking cold out, right? Now the audience knows, and it's funny when they see that, people in the audience actually start to bundle up a little bit, like, man, that looks really cold. Just because of what they see and what they hear, they start to feel like they're cold too, which is great. But when you're writing a screenplay, again, you can't just say things that they feel, you have to somehow express it through this or through this. Now, in addition to feeling, you can't just write down useless information. So for example, you can't say something like, Matt goes into his classroom and starts writing notes on a board. Five years ago, Matt's parents were killed by ninjas. Like that's really weird. What, is there suddenly a blinking light over my head that says, five years ago, Matt Bush's parents were killed by ninjas. By the way, my parents are totally alive and well. There haven't been any ninja scenarios or anything like that. You're welcome. Thank you, James. You know, you can't say that. If you need your audience to know that Matt's parents were killed by ninjas, there's a couple ways that you could do it. One is you could have Matt walk into the classroom, he's writing notes on a dry erase marker board, he pauses, kind of looks over to the side, and then maybe we dissolve into a scene. Now we see a younger Matt Bush, and maybe he walks up to this house and he says, Mom, Dad, Hey, haven't heard from you guys in a while. I was just, I just wanted to stop by and check and make sure you guys are okay. Then you show Matt opening a door. It zooms to a close up of his face. He looks around, there's blood everywhere, and he goes, No! Right? So, okay, that would be one way of showing your audience this. Another way would be, and I know that's kind of cheesy, but you, I mean, all you have to work with is this and this, right? So another way would be uh, Matt walks into a classroom, starts writing notes on a board. Then maybe uh, James is sitting next to Cam and maybe James leans over and says, man, Cam, I just, I can't believe he's still teaching here after like what happened five years ago. And that's when Cam leans over and says, I know, can you imagine your parents killed by ninjas? Oh, that's a dramatic experience. I couldn't imagine. Yeah, like, I, wow. And that's when the audience says, ooh, wow, geez, I didn't know that. Now that might be, that might be kind of a cliche as well, but that would be another way of showing your audience this information that they need to know, but they have to somehow see it and or hear it. You can't just say random information out of nowhere like that. You have to somehow deliver it as it would be in a movie. So that's it in a nutshell. That's all you really need to keep firmly in your mind. You need to place yourself in the theater. You need to write about what you see. You need to write about what you hear. And that's the basics of writing a screenplay. If you can keep that in check, you too can write an awesome screenplay. Come back for the next video where I am gonna show you the format the exact format, I'm gonna write a miniature screenplay right here. I'm gonna show you all the ins and outs and do's and don'ts and beeble la and all that other crazy stuff. See you guys soon.